They even had to move five cemeteries. I want y'all to check this video out. It's about an artificial cloud. Now, I don't want you to check it out for the reasons that uh, you may think I do. I'm not gonna get into chemtrails and harp and weather modification and this, that, and the other. The most amazing thing is that that cloud up there, which was generated by the engine. That is how I came across the video. I look into those things, but it's not up to me to talk about it. It's not my, what would you say, uh, forte? I don't know. It's, it's really not my thing. This is the shuttle's fuel tank. It may only be 130 miles to space, but to cover that distance, the engines will use half a million gallons of fuel. And that works out at two feet to the gallon. Despite the cost, however, NASA does need to test these engines once in a while. So they built this place in the wetlands of Mississippi. What was going on on that land before they constructed the place? Why did they choose that location? The first thing they installed was a huge loudspeaker, through which they played white noise to simulate the sound of a rocket. They then sent a number of trucks in different directions out into the wilderness. And the drivers were ordered to stop when the noise levels became acceptable. This gave them an imaginary boundary line. Imaginary boundary line. And anyone living on the inside of it was offered a simple choice. Stay and you'll never hear another television program as long as you live. Or take the NASA shilling and get out, and get out. No one stayed. Nobody stayed, everybody left. Well, I pulled up a PDF, um, a PDF of like some of the history and the construction of the place, right? There's, there's land holders, there's, pe there's land holders, companies, corporations, people, entities that still hold the property today. And it's not just owned by NASA. And I'm gonna show you that. No one stayed. And NASA ended up with exactly what it wanted. 125,000 acres. 125,000 acres of nothing. If they want some land, they can create an imaginary line. Just grab it. Ain't that what it's about in California with the wildfires, a land grab? Man, this video shows several things other than weather modification. Especially for me being that my ancestors are from Mississippi by way of Louisiana, and that's where this place is built at. They even had to move five cemeteries because the noise they were planning on making would wake the dead. What interests me is this right here. What does he mean by that they move people? What people? Who? Move cemeteries? Five cemeteries of people to where? What people? Whose people? Your people? My people? I don't know if you guys are familiar with Dan Calloway's work. Dan Calloway uploads a lot of video about, uh, pretty much to sum it up, you niggas ain't African. You are the aboriginal people of this land. Not all of us, not all of you, not all black people were brought here from Africa on slave ships by way of the, uh, you know, the slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade. Now, I go into further detail than that in the video that I was telling you about, Untold Truth, about the African slave trade. Definitely go check out part one and part two. That's another topic, another video as well. Uh, don't worry.
sorry if you can't hear what I'm saying. Um, I couldn't even hear myself. This is the loudest sound you could possibly conceive. And, as it turns out, the cleanest. Now, the most amazing thing is that that cloud up there, which was generated by the engine, is just a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. It's water vapour. And in about an hour's time, someone in Mississippi is going to get wet washing. It will actually rain. I told you. It's raining. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh. NASA's plane, God! NASA's plane, God! It's making its own weather! <laughs> <laughs>